What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here today guys in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get an moving wallpaper slash screensaver uh, on your iPhone, your iPad, or your iPod touch. Pretty much it just runs on your screen uh, after not touching it for a minute, two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, whatever you have it set to and it works just like in the Apple Store with the Apple demos on your device. <laughs> So if you've ever been to an Apple store before, if you don't touch one of their devices on display for a long time, let's say an iPhone 5, an iPad mini, just anything, you'll notice that um, a little dialog comes up. So for a good example of these, there are some on YouTube that uh, this Sonny Dickinson guy has put up. For example, this one for the iPhone 4S, one for the iPhone 4, uh, we'll change it up a little bit, one for the iPod Touch, one for the iPhone 5, and then they have the videos that you'll see actually display on the phones themselves, um, which Apple used to do. I just don't think they do it that much anymore. Um, so the way Apple actually does that is they do have this set program um, into their devices that are on display. But if you jailbreak and you know your way around, you can actually SSH these types of files into your device and even choose your own ones to make something like this work. As you can see, I have my intro file playing. Um, where it just shows my icon and talks a little bit about my YouTube channel, much like you see in my intros today. And then I'll just tap it, and it'll head right to the home screen without opening any applications, uh, just like it works in the Apple Store. So today, I'm going to teach you guys how to do it. First thing you're going to need is a jailbreak. Um, pretty much just get a jailbroken device. This is my iPhone 5 running Cydia on iOS 6.1. And you're going to go ahead and go into Cydia. And you're going to go for search and you're going to type in open SSH. If you cannot see it on my screen, it's going to be somewhere down here in the video just so you can see. So open space SSH. I'm going to go ahead and search and it should be right on the top open SSH. Now this isn't going to do anything to your device. Nothing's going to appear on the home screen. Uh, it's just a little tweak that is going to let you SSH into your device. Now before you do this, you're probably wondering, wait, is that going to do anything bad? And the answer is no. You, it actually lets you edit any types of files inside of your device. And one of the great ones that I have on my device, and one of the great ones I have on my device, for example, is and I have Wii unlock and lock sounds. It's pretty cool. So once you have OpenSSH downloaded, and yes, you do have to have a jailbroken device in order to do this, um, you're pretty much set to go. You're going to head to a computer. Now, right here, on my, I'm on my MacBook Pro, but if you're on Windows or any other type of operating system, just get a program that works with SSH, and um, you honestly should just be set to go. So right here, I'm using CyberDuck for Mac, but like I said, you can use pretty much um, any open SSH program that you want. Um, there's a ton of them out there, so just find the one that's right for you for your operating system, and you should be set. What you're going to do when you get in there is you're going to hit Open Connection, okay? Uh, right in the top, you're just going to open a connection. Make sure that you have SFTP, SSH File Transfer Protocol, and you're going to want to find out the IP address um, of your actual Wi-Fi server. So you're going to need to make sure that both your iDevice and your computer is connected to the same Wi-Fi connection. And you're just going to write down the IP address. This is not your actual IP address um, with your cable provider. This is just the sort of mask, not, not the subnet mask to get anything wrong, but... Uh, I forget what it's called, and I do apologize, but uh, it's not its not your real IP address, so not to worry. Uh, I just blocked mine out here either way, but it's not your official IP address. And then you're just going ahead and put in the username as root and the password alpine. That'll be written here too since you can't see, and you're just going to leave these unchecked. Keep the port at what's it at, at what's it at, and hit connect. And it'll say unknown, just hit always and allow. And then you are set, you are pretty much inside your device. Now, this is going to seem like gibberish at first, like this var and slash and stuff like that. Um, but it's very simple what I need you to do. So you're going to go ahead and navigate to slash. All right. And go to var. So from this point, I want you to look for a folder called mobile. And pretty much from here, guys, it's pretty easy. As you can see, I have demo.move inserted. Um, your thing is pretty much going to be, you're going to have applications, documents, library, and media, and this is in your device's core, uh, on the device's hard drive itself that Apple preloads. Um, and you won't see demo move here, but you're going to get the demo file that you want, or whatever video you want to play, so you could just 
put like let's say SpongeBob SquarePants, a video of him. You could put that, and then what you're gonna do, so I'll just name this example. Okay? Before you drag it into here, you want to name it demo.move. If it's a uh, MP4 file or anything, just make sure that you convert it. Uh, I converted mine through ScreenFlow. So you're going to say demo.move. And then that should just open normally. You're going to want to make sure, too, that you have no audio. Uh, but really, it's up to you, I guess. I'm not sure if it plays audio because I haven't tried it. I just shut my audio off. Um, for this particular file if you want it to work like the screen savers do in the Apple Store And then you're just gonna simply take it drag it and drop it. It'll let the transfer go Obviously, I'm gonna have to overwrite here since it's the same exact file um, And then you are pretty much set so go ahead and hit disconnect or just plain old quit the program it Really doesn't matter you're gonna come back to your device and however you want it and however you want to do it, just respring your device or restart it. I had a little quick respring thing there. Um, so just restart your device or respring it, and then you are pretty much all set. You should have the file started, um, depending on what you have it set to settings when the screen dims and shuts off like after a minute. If it's set to never, then you are never going to see this file. So go to settings. And just go to general or brightness. I'm not sure what it's under, but just go shut off that feature uh, where it never shuts off your screen if you don't lock it. You know what I mean, I'm sure. Um, and if you have it set to a long period of time, then expect to not see the video for a long period of time. Whatever that might be. So that's pretty much it, guys. That is how to get the demo move file, a.k.a. the screensaver moving wallpaper on the back of your iPhone. Uh, iPod touch or iPad like I said this will work for any device as long as you could jailbreak it and know your way around an SSH program If you like this video and it helped please be sure to leave some comments below on your thoughts Of course rate give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button below expect more guys. Sorry for being gone so long. I'm back. Peace